Hi friends out in YouTube land, Ascenva here to talk to you about BJDs on Amazon? Really quickly before I start the video, if you have not checked out my coffee shop for really cool BJD owner merch and stuff, I highly suggest you check it out. I have pins, stickers, and prints for sale there for you to peruse. So this is a fun topic today because there are more and more things as the hobby begins to grow that are popping up and are being labeled as BJDs. So I guess we first must ask ourselves, what is a BJD? So <laughs> this is where the fine line in the community also gets drawn because um, by simple definition, it's a ball jointed doll. And to some people, you know, it goes further than that to where it must be made out of resin, that it has to have strings, um, that it has to have like an actual ball joint, um, meaning the body has ball-like pieces here that can help move the joints. Um, they're typically found like in the elbows or in the um, hands, or if you wanna talk about here where it's got kind of like a ball shape here that's put into the socket on the arm there. But hey, Senva. There's these little ball joint thingies in my Obitsu doll too. Is that a BJD? I don't know. <laughs> well, I never know. I'll be honest with you. The whole definition of what a BJD is, I feel like has been evolving over time. Um, and so whether or not you consider this to be a BJD or this to be a BJD or this one is not a BJD and this one is a BJD, I don't know. Okay, it gets kind of weird and tricky. But the dolls we're gonna be looking at today are in the same family as this doll. So this doll came from a Western branch for Night Lolita, um, and they're called My Ballerina Dolls. If you haven't checked out my review, I highly suggest you do that. Um, but I have customized her since then, so she looks a little bit different than what they have on their website. Um, but she's kind of the same recipe for all these dolls that are popping up on Amazon right now. When we look at her joints, she has what the community sometimes likes to call hinge joints. So there are pieces that move very nicely and flow very nicely like our BJDs or our Obitsu dolls do, um, but they kind of rotate or, or move on a hinge. There's a close up on that hinge. Same thing on our knees here. Now, does it make this doll any less or not as good of a doll as the other dolls? No. And the, at the end of the day, they're all dolls. Now, now here's, <laughs> now here's where the really weird, sticky stuff happens. So these dolls, like the Night Lolita series, are based off of like this cartoon show that you can actually check out on YouTube here, which is pretty darn good and I'm really wishing I spoke Chinese because I want to know what the heck is going on. And so their line of dolls, you know, they have a whole bunch of different ones and then they also do have like seasonal ones and like other characterized ones. That body though, when you look at it and you strip this doll down and you look at it compared to a lot of the ones that are being sold on Amazon, look eerily similar. <laughs> and here's the big mystery. Is Night Lolita giving them their molds? Are they just buying like 500, you know, dolls and then basically putting, you know, their own factory makeup on them and dressing them up in their own things and selling them as brand new characters? And that's what it is. I have no idea. But you've got to, the, the thing that kind of just weirds me out, okay, and here's the conspiracy like woo woo boo boo doo 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 like, you know, X-Files thing, is that those dolls kind of vary in price, but they're pretty much sold to children. That's their market, you know, is they sell it to younger people, to kids. Um, and so you're looking at maybe like 50 to $60, maybe, maybe. Um, it kind of varies, right? The price varies, but it, they're all quite like tons cheaper than what Amazon is putting them out to. So is it a story of <laughs> these companies like uh, that are just 
you know, popping up here on Amazon labeling, labeling their dolls as BJDs, basically buying a whole bunch of bodies and then making their own and then upping the price. Because it varies on Amazon. Some of them, for like the smaller ones, can be anywhere from like 60 bucks to like the larger ones can be almost 200. So, I don't know what's happening. And the reason why I bring this up is that there have been people that have, you know, talked to me on TikTok, um, which by the way, if you did not have a BJD TikTok, I do have a BJD TikTok. Um, and they were talking to me about the Amazon dolls and whether or not they were good or bad dolls. At the end of the day, like I really, there's not enough information for me to be able to preach whether or not they're good or bad. Um, quality wise, I don't know. I've never purchased one off of Amazon before. I think I've seen some of the reviews and some of them mostly positive, um, you know, they rated it that. But as far as like legality goes and how they're being made, I don't know. So as far as the Amazon quote unquote BJDs go, I think my personal take on it is that I'm just gonna sit back and wait. Because honestly, I really don't know. If you haven't checked out my other video, I really do suggest that you, che you do check it out where we kind of um, talked about it on one of my Dolly Talk Tuesdays, uh, one of my streaming sessions that I do at Tuesday on Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Central Time. We talked about, you know, possible recasts with them. And you know, some people might be like, why the heck would they want to recast a vinyl doll? That's like not even a thing. No, that is a thing. You know, that that is a thing. They people people do recast even vinyl products. You know, it's not unheard of to have like bootleg items of, you know, things other than resin dolls. You know, um, it does exist. So I just don't know. There has it's it's very I almost feel like new. Um, that they're popping up on Amazon, that there's not a lot of information on them, um, per se. So, would I suggest buying one off of there? Probably not. Just because I don't know too much information on them so far, and I don't even know how they're making these dolls. What I would suggest is definitely, um, checking out some of the ones that are actual licensed distributors that have them, such as the My Ballerina dolls, if you want to try to get uh, your hands on a Night Lolita, that is a, that is a pretty simple way. Or by, I think, I, I actually don't even know 100% like where to get them online, to be honest with you. I know they're a little bit tricky to get a hold of. It's not impossible, but I think you have to do some work for it. But at the end of the day, if you're looking for a BJD though, and, and you see this on Amazon, and you're like, wow, $100 for a BJD, I would just exercise some caution. Just because first of all, I don't think a lot of those dolls are considered on topic for most forums and online groups because of what we kind of discussed at the beginning about it being hinge joint versus actual ball joints. Um, and you know, they're, they, they may, or not, may or may not be accepted in a lot of groups because there's other groups that, you know, are for vinyl dolls and for hinge joint dolls. But again, not to fret, there are tons of options out there uh, if you're looking to start collecting BJDs. Um, I have an article on my blog, I actually have several articles now, um, about affordable BJDs and I kind of have like a price point and then you can find dolls that are around that price or cheaper. And of course, um, I have some videos here on my YouTube channel as well talking about affordable dolls that you can kind of dip your toe into if you're curious about this hobby. I hope that helped anybody that was curious about these new Amazon dolls that are popping up. But I know there's a bunch of YouTube people about doing, you know, they're doing their unboxing videos with their Amazon BJDs. Um, I kind of hope this helps people that may were, may have been looking for more information or kind of wanted to see a different perspective on them and kind of learn from there. As always, CV and I hope that you have a dolly-tastic day and we'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye!